Hi, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to part 12 of our Raspberry Pi 3 with Windows 10 IoT video series. And in this video we are talking about running .NET Core 2.0 ASP.NET application with Raspberry Pi 3. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 11 since in that part we executed console application of .NET Core 2.0 and in this part we are going to work with ASP.NET application on Raspberry Pi. So let's get started. So the getting stage ready of .NET Core 2.0 app is pretty much exactly the same thing as we discussed in our previous video. All we have to do is install the .NET Core 2.0 SDK in our Windows 10 host machine. The reason is because we don't really have a .NET Core 2.0 SDK in Windows 10 IoT Core operating system yet. So we need to install the .NET Core 2.0 SDK in our host machine. We need to write a code of our application and then we need to transfer the application onto the Raspberry Pi machine. And also we need to have an editor something like Visual Studio Code or Visual Studio 2017 Community Edition to edit the C-sharp code that we're going to work with. So after coding is done, we need to connect with the Raspberry Pi as usual via PowerShell and then we need to enable the FTP service to transfer the file from the host machine to the Raspberry Pi 3. So we have already enabled the FTP service in our previous video. So all we have to do is just copy the file over to the Raspberry Pi machine as we did before. So let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to Windows 10 host machine. All right, so this is my Windows 10 host machine that we were working so far in our previous video. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm actually going to create an MVC application. So once again, as usual, like uh, last video, I'm just going to go over to the RP folder, which is nothing but the Raspberry Pi folder. And this is the console application that we created in our previous video. This time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an MVC ASP.NET application, and then I'm going to execute that particular application on the Raspberry Pi. And again, as we know before, to run an ASP.NET application, we actually need to have an Internet Information Server or an IIS running in the machine. But since the .NET Core was introduced, the IIS is actually available within the application itself. You don't really have to have an IIS server that you have currently in your Windows 10 machine, something like this. So this is the Internet Information Server which is running in my Windows 10 machine and you can see there is a default site and all those things, right? So Actually, this service is not running in the Windows 10 IoT Core by default. So if you want to run an .NET Core application on Windows 10 IoT, so you need to run the service of IIS Server. But instead of running an IIS Server on Windows 10 IoT machine, you can just create a .NET Core application. So that .NET Core application will actually have the Internet Information Server out of the box and it can run the application. And the reason is this. On Linux machine or a Mac machine, we don't really have an internet information server at all and it won't run at all. And that's why the .NET Core power is. So the .NET Core is a cross-platform framework which runs on any operating systems. So if you create a MVC application which can run targeting the Ubuntu or Mac, it will work. And that's the reason the .NET Core was actually invented. Right. So let's quickly create an MVC application in this particular folder. So I'm just going to go over here and here this time I'm actually going to choose the different template. I'm going to choose MVC template. So you can see that we have a MVC option here, right? And it has C sharp and F sharp language. So I'm going to choose the MVC and this is going to be EA MVC app. So I'm going to hit enter. So you can see that it is going to create a MVC application over here and you can open this and you can see it is automatically creating things for us. And did you notice this particular folder www root and this is actually our internet information server thing, right? So it is automatically creating the structure so that it can execute the application deploying in this particular folder and run it. And that's the power of the .NET Core itself. I think the application is kind of created right now and now if you try to run this particular application maybe in the Visual Studio code you can see that the application will execute without any problem. So let me go to the program.cs and uh, let me try to maybe uh, save it start at core all right and then if I try to run this particular application you can see that 
it is going to open the application right now let me see the output what's really happening it's building the application right now all right so many threads are being spawned and notice the URL it is localhost colon 5000 and here we go here is our MVC application running in my Windows 10 machine right now right you can go to the home you can go to about you can go to the contact and everything will work fine but please notice this particular thing localhost do you really think that localhost if you try to connect from the Raspberry Pi is gonna work because we're accessing the Raspberry Pi using this particular URL and if you try to access via localhost it is going to target directly to my local Windows 10 machine so we have to somehow specify this particular IP address of Raspberry Pi in the code so that it really don't point to the local host of the Raspberry Pi so how to overcome this particular problem that you are seeing over here so the program by default is actually locating the local host we need to somehow change this so in order to change this a much simpler way to do in this particular piece of code is let's gonna stop this particular piece of code and I'm gonna go to what is called as a program.cs and here we have something called as use URLs and within this use URLs I'm actually gonna specify which URL you're gonna be using so I can say the URL to use is like something like HTTP colon double slash and then I'm gonna give a wildcard here and then I'm gonna pass the port number so 8080 is gonna be something I guess many people are gonna be using that so 5000 is also somebody is gonna use it so maybe I'm gonna say 5100 or something like that right and then I'm gonna save it right so once I save it you can see that their intelligence is actually working and everything is working in the Visual Studio code right now and the reason is because I have already installed the extension for Visual Studio in my Visual Studio code which is nothing but the C sharp and that's the reason you are seeing the intelligence and everything in here right so now everything is cool and now if I try to run this particular piece of code you will see what's really gonna happen so if I'm gonna go to the debug and if I'm gonna run this particular piece of code you can see this time the URL is actually something different and site can't be reached so basically you can give your local host as well and hit enter and you can see the application is coming so this is the idea basically instead of the local host we are going to give our Raspberry Pi IP address here to access the URL right so I'm gonna close this I think everything is pretty cool but there will be one problem very quickly I will show you what is that so if I try to publish this particular piece of code towards targeting the Raspberry Pi you will have some kind of error so in order to run this particular publishing it's very very simple as we did in our previous video we're gonna do this dotnet publish hyphen r and then win arm and hit enter you will quickly run into an error right now there we go it says this fail to load the dll from i don't know what is that and then there is a hit result of a memory value and if you try to google this particular uh, error there will be a lot of suggestions coming from different kinds of people but there is no real concrete reasons of what is this problem is all about but the solution for this particular problem is very very simple maybe I have made a few cheat uh, to resolve this particular issue all I did is this I went to the Explorer and then I went to the CS proj of my project and here there's something called MVC razor compilation option on publish so this compile option I'm gonna set it to false I'm gonna save it and now if I try to publish this particular project it actually works fine without any problem and I don't really know whether this is the right way of doing it but it actually works you can see that it actually publishes the application right now and also it works like expected so if I go to the bin folder and if I go to the bin arm you can see all the files are actually sitting right so this is what is expected so I'm just gonna open in Explorer and uh, let me change the name of this maybe so I'm gonna change this to uh, MVC app so that I can copy this to my FTP of Raspberry Pi I'm gonna paste it over here so 
So this is going to copy our application that we just wrote, right? So much simpler it is. So basically we have did so many things here, we've written an MVC application and we also tried to execute that. We also tried to modify the URL and then we modified the MVC razor option to false during publishing so that there was no error. And now publishing is done and we are right now copying our code into Raspberry Pi and we're going to see how things are working. That's it. Much simpler it is. So once the copying is done, we'll quickly try to access the application and see how things work. All right, the file has been copied into this particular folder, MVC app, and we have this particular uh, application, eamvcapp.exe. And you can see all the dependencies which is required for running the application is available over here. So now let's quickly see how things work. So I'm just going to hop over to our PowerShell of Raspberry Pi. And this is the same console we used for executing the console application in our previous video. So I'm just going to uh, come out and I'm just going to go over to, let's see, CD MVC app and publish. And then I'm going to search for EA app.exe and then I'm going to hit enter. So let's quickly see what's really going to happen. So this should basically start the internet information server. There we go. It says the application started and it is listening on this particular port, right? It is pretty much exactly the same thing that we were doing in our previous video. So instead of the local host, I'm going to copy the Raspberry Pi IP address here and then I'm going to change the port number to 5100 and then I'm going to hit enter. So this should basically connect to the Raspberry Pi this time. Oops, it seems like for some reason I couldn't able to connect or use this particular piece of port in my Windows 10 host machine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly change the code a little bit, maybe to change the code in such a way that I can use the port 8000 instead of 5100. So I'm going to save it and then I'm going to republish this particular code and uh, let me copy this code this time instead of the one which we were using before. So I'm just going to reveal the files in the Explorer and I'm going to copy the one which I'm looking for. So I guess I don't really have to copy everything. So I'm just going to copy the one which is actually required. So let me uh, select the one which I'm actually looking for. So these are the file which actually is required for running the application itself. So I'm going to copy that and this is the application setting. And let me also copy the web.config. And uh, I think www root is not required though, but still I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it to my published folder over here so that I can access them. Yep. I think even they are pretty much same. Even the view is not required, but still it's okay. I'm going to copy that. There we go. And then I already stopped running it. So I'm just going to rerun this again. So eamvc.exe. So this time it should listen to port 8000 instead of uh, 5100. There we go. The code is pretty much exactly the one which I'm looking for and it is going to be 8000 and then hit the enter. So let's see what is happening behind the scene as well because sometimes there will be some kind of error if you don't copy all the files which is required. Initially for the first time it always takes time for the ASP dot application to boot up. There we go. Now it works. So basically the 5100 port was actually blocked in my host Windows 10 machine so that's the reason uh, we weren't able to access that, but port number 8000 actually works. There we go. So that's exactly what we're looking for, right? So now we can run a MVC application on our Raspberry Pi of Windows 10 IoT Core, and we can access that in our Windows 10 machine. So this is really, really cool. So now we can develop a ASP.NET Core application. We can deploy that in a Raspberry Pi and then we can access that in our any machine within our home server or even for a very small deployment or development. We can use this Raspberry Pi to the next level of working with it. So once again, thank you very much for watching this video. 
and have a great day.